Hey Internet, so this past week this girl Jenna came to my show here in Santa Monica. She started watching me on the internet like eight or nine years ago. At that time, all my videos were basically about how I couldn't find a girlfriend and generally speaking, my fear of rejection. Our nose is bumped. If you go up to a girl and you're like, hey, we should have a romantic candle at dinner, get married tomorrow. Faces don't fit together, you have to turn sideways. She's gonna be like, whoa, this is very serious. I'm not so sure, sure I want to do that. In fact, my fear of rejection is the whole reason for the pickup line, we should hang out sometime. It's a line that is hard to reject in a sense that it, it's not a question, it's an opinion statement. It's like, my opinion is that we should hang out sometime. And thus it becomes less rejectable because it is difficult, linguistically speaking, to invalidate someone else's opinion. You know, like you might think their opinion is wrong, but that doesn't mean it is not what they indeed feel. Anyway, if you'd asked me back in that era when I was single, I guess I probably would have thought my fear of rejection would go away once I finally found a girlfriend and certainly by the time I got married, it turns out no. I am so scared of rejection and this is not something that I've outgrown. Like I'm so scared of rejection that, uh, you know, like when I, when I see uh, like homeless people in Santa Monica, often I'm like, oh man, like I, I would like to buy them food. Like I definitely have the means to do so and I want to help, but I am so scared that they are going to reject the food offering that I give them uh, that I uh, that I just I can't do it and and I think like I think this is not an unfounded fear to be honest in Santa Monica like we have some very picky people <laughs> in Santa they'll like read the ingredients on the label uh, sorry I'm paleo but thank you I am afraid not of just human rejection, of animal rejection. I have a small dog. I am afraid to command the dog to come if there's other people around because I'm afraid he will reject me and just sit there and look at me. And I'll be like, oh man, my dog rejected me. This is so embarrassing. And so I, sh I, like, I should have been like, you should come sometime. <laughs> and if he doesn't come, I'll be like, well, I did say sometime. It's definitely up to him. Even though Ashley and I are married, there is still fear of rejection on my part. If I want to like go out and do something together, rather than asking her like, hey, would you like to go to a movie with me on Tuesday? Because uh, she might say no. I will always start by being like, babe, do you have any plans on Tuesday? She always calls me out for it now. She's like, are you trying to ask me to do something with you on Tuesday? I'm like, well, I don't, I'm just just checking to see if you have any plans. She's like, if you want to do something with me, you have to just ask. I'm like, oh no, now I might be rejected. You should come to the movie with me on Tuesday. Thanks for watching and thanks to people like Jenna who have been a part of this video community for so many years. We should hang out sometime.